Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the brand new Viva La Juicy Sucre. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is the newest addition in the Viva La Juicy lineup. So this one is kind of their more dessert, um, candy-esque version of it. So your box looks like this, and it says Viva La Juicy Sucre here on the front. 3.4 ounce, uh vaporizer and then it's got these kind of like candy shop pinstripings going on all around it. Um, on top doesn't have anything, size just say Juicy Couture, back normal, and then your barcode on the bottom. Um, this one is a lot bigger than like the normal Viva La Juicy bottles, um, boxes wise. So here's Viva La Juicy Noir's box, here's Sucre. As you can see, it is ridiculous in the size. Um, you can like put it in the middle and still see a lot of it. So, um, there's the box and the difference in it. The bottle looks like this, and, um, love this bottle this time. I actually really, really, really like this one. So it's got this adorable, like, frosting dripping down, this, like, pink bow, which is very similar to, wherever it's at, the bow that was used on Gold Couture. So it's, instead of it being black, it's pink this time, and the dots are white instead of black. Um, but then you've got the Viva La Juicy, um, emblem, or the Juicy Couture emblem there in the middle. And then it's sitting inside a cupcake tray, which is actually attached. Um, and then the inside of the cupcake is kind of pink. So my only complaint about this bottle, and I know it, de it honestly depends on the bottles. So your lid comes off like this, and your frosting sits on top. So I actually have two bottles of this fragrance. Um, one in which I purchased from my local department store, and one in which I purchased from HSN. So side by side, definitely not a difference in the bottles at all. They're both, you know, pink, whatever. But this one that I got from HSN, as you guys can see, like super loose, versus this one, which is not. Like, I mean, it's still loose, but it's not as loose as this one is. I mean, this is, like, ridiculously loose. And this isn't the first time uh, Juicy Couture has done a bottle like this with this type of thing. Um, they have a... Sorry, I keep grabbing behind you guys. There's uh, my Viva La Juicy shelf. Hollywood Royal, which came out a few years ago, had a very similar aspect to it. And this one was also, like, ridiculously loose. So I don't understand why they keep going back to this. Um, with this. I, I, there's got to be a better way to attach this. I mean, no one's really going to, like, look up at the bottom of the bottle to see. Who knows? So, anyway, the bottle looks like this. Um, notes for this fragrance are... Top notes are gardenia, juicy mandarin, and red currant. Middle notes are orange flower, jasmine flower, peach nectar, and almond cream. With base notes of cocoa bean, sandalwood, whipped cream, and vanilla extract. So, this fragrance is my... I'm going to tell you guys straight off the bat. Second favorite... Viva La Juicy fragrance, and I definitely think probably second favorite Juicy Couture fragrance of all times. Favorite uh, Juicy Couture fragrance is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Love, love, love that fragrance. This is probably my second favorite one. So, when you first spray it, you get a little bit of that uh, kind of normal Viva La Juicy opening, but honestly, that whipped cream is definitely there. You can definitely smell it straight up from the bat. It's a lot of sugar, a lot of uh, juicy sugar with a lot of fruit backing it. The fruits are definitely there in the beginning that they do kind of fade um, to reveal the heart a little bit faster than normal. The biggest difference, in my opinion, um, is the heart to the base. There's definitely a distinct difference in that base. Um, when you get into the base, you get the florals, but that base is really kind of prominent the entire time. The only thing that really changes from that base is as the fragrance sits longer, it does get more developed. Um, 
The whipped cream note is amazing in this. I've seen people compare this to Ariana Grande's Ari, and I could see it, but to me, there's a difference. I can see the similarities, but this is very much Viva La Juicy's spinoff on Ari by Ariana Grande. But I don't feel like if you have one, you can't have the other, because they're different enough that they do make, like, they make a difference from each other. As it starts to dry down, that cocoa bean really comes out and kind of adds this, like, dry, like, uh, chocolate note to the base of this fragrance, which I love. And this is an Eau de Parfum, and it's probably the longest-lasting Viva La Juicy fragrance I have, minus, like, the Pure Parfums. Um, because with this one, I sprayed it on a couple hours before I went to work, um, and I could still smell it. Like, I decided, I was like, okay, we're going to test this compared to the original Viva. So I put the original Viva La Juicy on this wrist. I put Viva La Juicy Sucre on this wrist. And this one, I couldn't smell much past my lunch break. So probably about six hours, I six to seven hours, I really couldn't smell this much more. When I got off work that night, so we'll say 10 to 11 hours later, I could still smell um, Sucre on my wrist. And I'd say probably about 12 hours before I couldn't smell it at all. But I could definitely still smell it about 10 to 12, 10 to 11 hours. And it wasn't like I had to find it. Like, I instantly could smell it on my wrist and knew it was there. Versus Viva La Juicy, the original, which I couldn't really smell after probably about 6 hours. Um, it does project kind of a, a good bubble. Not, like, throwing high power, but it does give a nice bubble. And when you walk into a room or you know you walk into a setting where you're closer to people they can smell you and they I've gotten a lot of compliments um, from people saying how good this one smells because it does smell really 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 good um it is not the biggest departure from Viva La Juicy um as you know Le Fleur and Rosé were kind of really big departures from the original Viva La Juicy this one is still very similar to the original Viva La Juicy um it's just a little bit more sugared up, a little bit more whipped cream. If you like the original Viva La Juicy and you like kind of those sweeter confectionery fragrances, you'd really, really like this one. I don't want people thinking it's like overly candily sweet to the point where like it's cavity inducing. Because it does still have that perfumey and girly aspect to it. But it definitely is really, really, really sweet. If you don't like sweet fragrances and you don't like gourmet fragrances, I definitely would not advise blind buying this. But... This one is definitely one of those that if you like gourmads, you like cupcakes, you like sweet, that type of thing, go out and buy this one because it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, like I said, I purchased mine from HSM, my original one I got from HSM, um, and it took them until the 21st to ship it, or to, for me to receive it. I got it, I think, on the 20th, maybe. Um, but they took a really, really long time to ship it. And something that really, really, really ticked me off in the uh, video on HSN. They had, they were talking about the fragrance there, and they said that no one else is going to be getting it until June or July. Um, except for it's at Dillard's, it's at Sephora, it's at Macy's, it's at Ulta, and it's even at my local department store, which my local department store gets stuff, but sometimes they get stuff really, really late. Um, I know it took them, they haven't gotten, like, Vince Commuter's Chow yet. Um, it took them a while to get, like, Marc Jacobs' Decadence. Um, I even know when they got Rosé, it took them a while to get it. It even took them a while to get, like, the new this year's extract, but they already have Sucre. So, definitely one of those things that I don't understand where they said June or July. Maybe we'll be getting another fragrance June or July from the Viva La Juicy lineup, but this one is definitely already available nationwide. So, it comes in 100 mil for, I believe, $96 is what it retails for. Um, HSN had it on holiday pricing, so I got mine cheaper than that. Um, Retail ninety six dollars for one point seven ounce, or for the three point four ounce. I'm not sure how much the one point seven is. I think it's seventy four. I could be wrong. It also comes in one point seven. Comes in a one ounce, and it comes in a rollerball as well. Um, all which I know are currently on Alto's website, and I believe Macy's as well. Um, if they do a gift set for this fragrance, I definitely might buy it because I would love to have a lotion for this fragrance. But even if I didn't want a lotion for this fragrance, or even if they don't make a lotion for this fragrance, is what I meant. I could easily use the Ari by Ariana Grande and layer it up because they do have similarities, but I don't think they're the same fragrance. Because this one has whipped cream and cocoa powder and vanilla extract, 
while Ari had like the base is more marshmallow and vanilla. So there you guys go. There is my review of Vivala Juicy Sucre. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, and as Perfume, and Instagram at Mom Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.